Hello and welcome to my first tutorial on GameCube modding guide for 2021. Uh, things you will need. You will need a GameCube, a modded Wii with the Homebrew channel. I'm not going to go over that here in this tutorial. There's plenty of videos out there on how to modify your Wii. So uh, just Google it. There's plenty of information on that and many YouTube videos on how to modify your Wii. Um, so I'm not gonna cover that here. You will need a GameCube memory card, 251 block to um, do the exploit. The black OEM uh, official GameCube memory cards will work fine. You will need the Gecko memory card SD card which uh, I have a picture down here, okay, which uh, can hold uh, standard SD cards. And with this hack, you'll, um, you'll be able to read original and import games, okay, read ISO games from SD and uh, via SD Gecko or the SD2 SP2. I have plenty of emulators. Uh, for uh, 680 Hertz and 480p and you'll be able to take advantage of the Game Boy uh, interface player for uh, Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games so um, the game save exploits you will need one of these discs for this example I will be using uh, Zelda Wind Waker I find that to be the fastest out of all the exploits so far that I have tested uh, which I tested Super Smash Melee, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker. Those are the ones I have. Um, except for the Super Mario Sunshine PAL version, which I heard is automatic. So let me just go show you the exploit here, and then I'll go over on how to do that. All right, so as you can see, I have the GameCube up here, and we have The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. Uh, ready to play and I'm gonna go into my memory card to show you my memory card here um, here on the on the left okay this is why you need 251 memory card because the file here takes 99 blocks and then also you would need the Wind Waker hack okay and I have the SD card on the on my B slot okay so let's go into the let me show you exactly how this works. So we go into Startup Zelda. Okay, we're gonna start up Zelda Wind Waker for the Nintendo GameCube. Okay, and as soon as I press start, it's gonna initiate initiate the hack. The exploit. And there we go. And it boots up what Swiss as you can see I have a 32 gig card in here okay so we have my apps folder in here which the Game Boy interface we have a Game Boy um, a Game Boy Advance player Visual Boy Advance uh, SMG 1000 uh, Nintendo 64 regular Nintendo Super Nintendo you can rip your own backup games okay a controller test to test your controller Okay, so that's all the apps in here. I want to back out of here. Um, and here are the games that I put on here. These are some of the examples. And it does Play Pal games as well. So let's just go into a game here. Uh, okay, let's just go into Ikaruga. Okay, and it does have cheats. You can still put cheats on here, but here you go. Loads it up, and there we are. We are playing. Oh, All right. So we'll let that load up, as you can see. Stir it up. Start the game. I 
could go back in from here. I'll, I'll explain how to do that as well. And then I just want to go into a different game. Let's just don't uh, start up a different game here. I don't know. Um, okay, Mario Kart Double Dash, for example. And I will be providing links in the description for where to get all the files and everything you need to do this. going to tell you where to find the ISOs or the ROMs for games. You're just going to have to Google that yourself. I can't provide that for you, but they are out there on wow, 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 Google. Wow, wow. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so it should be bringing me back into the menu. There we go. Okay, and let's just do a PAL game so you guys can see. Okay, I have uh, Blood Omen 2 Europe. Okay, and I set it up where in the settings to force it to for ADI. And there we go. So there you go. You could play imports. You could play PAL games. So there you go. All right, stay tuned for part two coming up. To show you guys what how to create your memory card with the Wii.